All right, Dells, well, you're in for a treat. Episode 11, you're getting a day in the life. So, on a regular morning before school, I get up, I get ready, and I go to the gym. I get up at about 4.30 so I can get to the gym by 5, 5.15, depending on how many alarms I snooze. As you can see, working hard on those machines at the guy. I'm having a good time. Oh, she's at home already, getting ready for work. Look at those sexy legs. Oh, yes, and my lunch. Coffee, it's essential. Protein shake, that's something that I have incorporated into my diet recently. I think it's going great. Sandwich, far out. I love a ham salad sandwich, it's honestly. Banana, looks quite icky, but she goes all right. These kind of bananas, you know, kind of look a bit icky, but they taste a bit sticky. And she's ready for the sleigh. Take it away. This is me walking into work. This is me walking into my classroom. <laughs> so random. First things first, setting up for the day. Got to open all the blinds, set up the computer, get my resources ready for the day. I'll turn the lights on. It's a bit dark this morning. Just clickety clacking on those keyboards getting my slideshow ready for the day so when the kids come in it says good morning kindergarten green welcome and it says the day of the week uh at the moment i'm just checking the computer for our um, staff page to see if there's any updates or changes to the day and checking the um lessons that i have for the day if there's any resources that i need to print out last minute that i haven't already prepared for but usually i'm pretty good pretty good i know it doesn't look like it it looks like i'm just watching videos on youtube but i'm just getting my music playlist ready honey taylor's version playlist on shuffle and here i am just getting the whiteboard clean and fresh from yesterday so i can rewrite the today's date and day of the week and then I'm going to write all of my students' names down for their reward system. If they get a few ticks next to their name, they get an award at the end of the day. Very classic, but very visual, and my kids really respond well to that. I was not on class in the afternoon yesterday because they had scripture and assembly, so I'm writing the awards from yesterday afternoon because I give them out at the end of the day, but obviously did not see my kids at the end of the day so there are three students who are receiving an award for yesterday and let me tell you they will remind me if they haven't received an award at the end of the day now i am using my lappy toppy to get my resources for the day printed send those to the staff room printer like this one this is for today's literacy lesson we've learned about the letter a this week these are my maths resources, and this is my playlist, Taylor's version only, of course. I just, we just completed these sandcastles, so I wanted to print out a little poster, a little label to go with it, so people know which story we are basing these artworks on. They were quite basic, but the kids loved them, and they were very cute. Now I'm just cutting, 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 like I feel like I do for hours and hours sometimes. These are some resources for my maths lesson coming up later today. And would you look at that? It's the last hour of the day already. My students are in the library. In the middle session of the day, I had some maths with my students for the whole session, so I couldn't really record anything. And then I had duty at recess time. So she's a busy girl on a Thursday. Then in a Thursday afternoon, my students go to the library. So I usually take this time uh, to collect all of the awards across the whole school because I am in charge of collecting all of the uh, behavior awards. And then if the students receive a certain amount, then they get principals awards, gold awards, silver awards, platinum awards, things like that. So that's what the awards go towards. But because it's the long weekend, there's no need for me to do that. So I'm just giving my room a nice big clean because it's been such a busy and crazy day and I had recess duty. We were kind of out the door quickly. So I am wiping away all of their noodles and rice and sandwich crumbs all over the tables and just general, you know, bodily fluids that children have no chill in just spitting everywhere. So... Cleaning up the room, 
it's Thursday, but because of the long weekend, it's technically Friday. So I am organizing my pencil pots. I like to move everything out the way so the cleaner can clean the tables in the afternoon. But I also like to be respectful and make sure they're not too dirty. Also, I'm really slack at doing this. Sometimes I get my SLSOs to do this for me or they just do it anyway because they know how slack I can be with pencils but if the students ever need a pencil sharpened I just do it on the spot but sometimes that can be very time consuming so I want to get into the habit at the end of the week to make sure that all of the pencils in each of the pencil pots are sharpened so that's pretty much how I spent the last hour of my day as you can see I'm having an amazing time hope you're enjoying this feel like I didn't really get to include everything because it's such a busy day but you want a day in the life of a kindergarten teacher this is what you're gonna get this is what it looks like so hope you've enjoyed I kind of want to do things like this more often to the shops it's easter monday public holiday so no work for me today love that uh, i've just been to the shops to get my groceries for the week and i have had a great weekend uh, i'm not just saying this because the two people that i just hung out with all weekend are hopefully watching shout out to taylor and stacy my sister and her wife um, but they had just spent the whole weekend here, which was so fun. I was so excited for them to come down. We didn't really have um, anything planned, but we just wanted to chill and hang out. And um, we had a, an Easter roast lunch planned, but that was about it. So we went to this pub on Sunday for lunch in Paddington, and it was so nice. It was like a British pub, and it was really cute. Um, yeah, we had a good time. And yeah, I think Friday, what did we do? Friday we just chilled and watched some TV, watched some movies, I can't remember what we did. And then Saturday, and then Saturday I had to get my nails done, so check out these, because the last ones were like black and silver, so I wanted to get some colour. They're not Easter themed, they're just cute colours. Anyway. Uh, so I got my nails done, they just walked around the shops, uh, then we went to the, the library, like New South Wales State Library I think it's called, had a little wander around there which was quite cute, then we went to the shops to get some things for dinner and things for the next few days and then came home and watched more TV and just relaxed, it was just a nice relaxing weekend. But not boring because like we had each other's company, you know. It was good to catch up and just chill. Uh, so that was yeah, that was nice. And then yeah, yesterday we went to the pub and then went and got some dessert somewhere and then we just came home and chilled. Had we knew that we would have a big lunch, so we just bought a few snacks like a, like a, some cheeses and some crackers and dips for um, like a late early kind of dinner late early dinner just a dinner <laughs> but a simple light dinner even though i was so full afterwards so i made sure i got up this morning went to the gym again and pushed myself harder because i was like now nah, ain't none of this food staying in my body this week <laughs> so i definitely sweat it all out this morning and then they just left around midday i just put some washing on and went to the shops and now I'm just gonna relax by myself tonight. Um, yeah, that's it. That's my week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, 
day in the life video at the, the first half of this. If you want to see me do them more often, let me know. Let me know what kind of content you want. Something else that I really want to do in these videos to sort of have some kind of routine in a way, I want to start because like this is all for this is all for me to look back on in years time. I want to start um, at least at the end of each video telling the audience, telling my audience. I want to start um, sharing what songs I'm listening to at the moment because with my music library, I make a new playlist every month and I just call it like. March 2024, April 2024, because I go through music so quickly, I just get sick of listening to the same music. I like to keep it nice and fresh, and I think a month is a good enough time. And then if there are songs that I like listening to, they can carry over to the new month's playlist. But yeah, I just like to keep my playlists based on each month. And I always look back on those playlists from, because I started doing it in like, maybe May of 2019. That's how long I've been making it a monthly playlist for. And it's funny because, well, maybe it was 2017 or 18. I think actually it might've been 2017, but then I got a new phone in 2019 and lost all, I think I got my own Apple Music or something like that. And I lost all the ones from the last couple of years. But then if I go through my phone now, it goes up to May of 2019. So I think I started in 2017 actually. I It's funny because I look back on certain months and the songs that I was listening to and if I was to go and shuffle March of 2020, like I'm just transported back to what my life was like at that time. We'd just gone into lockdown. I think Dua Lipa's album had come out, Future Nostalgia. So a lot of the music at that time reminds me of my lockdown walks and when I started to lose a bunch of weight and stuff. And I like doing that even 12 months ago, if I listen to my playlist from February, March, April last year, it just takes me back to that time in my life. So I thought that's always gonna be there for me, but why don't I also share that on here in case something does happen to that, like my Apple Music crashes or something. So I'm just gonna begin sharing Maybe five songs that I'm listening to at the moment. Mary's Five Recently Played. So this one has been on repeat for a couple of weeks because it's still new and the lyrics are so relatable. Next one is by Fletcher. She has just brought out her new album and this song is about her running into her ex at a Taylor Swift concert. So... I also was obsessed with Maybe I Am from the same album. So two songs are from Fletcher this week because that whole album is just a sleigh and super relatable. Next song is Make You Mind by Madison Beer. This is just such a bop that I heard for the first time the other day. It's so good. And this is another one that's really random for me, but I feel like it's super relatable at the moment. Really not my style of music, but oh well, it goes off, babes. It's going off. <laughs> 